The Outdoor Education Center is truly one of the most remarkable camps that, that is anywhere in the country. What a gorgeous place. Oh my I, gosh, it's beautiful. Oh, the camp is incredible. It's an amazing facility. We're in the middle of Orange County and you just wouldn't believe it as you look out. It is a 200 plus acre outdoor education facility in Orange County, California. We have several indoor meeting spaces. We have a huge dining hall with a commercial kitchen, lodging that can sleep almost 300 people indoors in bunk rooms. We even have a building called the Bungalows, which is like eight little hotel rooms. This is different than a traditional scout camp because it's full utilization year round. This past year, we had over 85,000 camper days and only about 25% of it actually were Boy Scout campers. The rest were school groups, other not-for-profit groups that deal with children. You name it, we've, we've got an opportunity for people to come here. What impresses me is I have a whole range or menu, if you would, of different options to be able to hit different target groups. I'd have to go to multiple areas to get that kind of a menu. We've received numerous awards from many of the community organizations. We also recently received recognition from the American Camping Association. As an educator of 10 years, I've experienced many different settings of classrooms, but a facility of this caliber allows you to have an extension of your already great working classroom. What I've seen over the last three years is the growth of a fantastic facility into something that makes a difference in children's lives. So if we can use those kinds of facilities, those kinds of opportunities as the vehicle to teach those character development traits, to, to teach those leadership skills, then we've got a magical moment. The real estate community uh, in general has made an enormous commitment to the Boy Scouts. This land that, that the Outdoor Education Center is located on was donated to the Orange County Boy Scout Council by the Irvine Company. A facility like this, you know, doesn't get built without philanthropy, and it needs the you know, support of the community. It needs dollars to to be developed. People can you know come up with a vision. Uh, the council can provide a lot of resources, but without the financial support, it's never going to be successful. We were pretty ambitious in taking this on, but the capital was a tough deal. Uh, when we started out, uh, the economy uh, was still pretty decent. Others just couldn't do it under the downturn. And so fundraising became difficult. Either we were going to have to stop in midstream, or we had to make a major commitment, and so, so we did. Well, I'd like to say that we have raised the majority of the money for this camp, but we haven't raised all of it. It wasn't enough to finish the thing off, but it was enough to keep the momentum going, and so we were able to raise a total of about $29 million out of a budget of $32 million. You're buying into a deal that's a winner. We do need the money in order to meet our obligations to finish this off. What we really need is, is a number of people to step up and make you know, lead gifts that, that will provide the impetus for us to, to, to bring this campaign together you know, in a fairly short time frame. And beyond that, we want to raise another four to five million dollars to, to create an endowment to maintain uh, this beautiful facility. People come out and see it. They get excited like we are, and I think we'll be successful. We serve some of the inner city kids who just aren't fortunate enough to be in scouting themselves, but they're able to get here through it some other way. It really gives an opportunity to disadvantaged kids to have an experience that can be really life-changing. I think any time that a group of kids go to the great outdoors, uh, the first thing is, is everybody becomes equal. It doesn't make a difference where you're from. You're in the great outdoors, everyone's equal. So we want to raise youth to understand that everything that they do impacts the world as a whole, not just this country, and to teach them how to be good people, regardless of where we're at in the world, is really just a step in the right direction globally. Don would always say everything that he was involved in, everything he ever did, he loved the fact that it always got better. It gets better every year. We need people to stand up and say, hey, you know, I support this facility, I support what the scouts have done. I think it's a tremendous facility. It not only helps the scouts, it's open to the public. The opportunity is only offered to more uh, every year, which is the goal. Quite frankly, it's going to have a dramatic impact on the quality of life in our community because of the kind of things that these children are experiencing. And I hope that you'll join us in this journey.